Hey there, everyone. This is Loud Cal playing some Hyper V. Oh yeah, we got a secret exit to find, don't we? Um. Well, let's go take a look. And I'm going to take a look for a little bit. But if like I can't find anything good, like like we got an idea of where to go, and uh, in this layer of Griffith Glacier Crush. And if I can't, well, like, we got an idea. So basically, we gotta find what to do with that idea. Now, we saw the keyhole is in a high place, so I'm going to keep on looking in the high places. I had an idea of bringing along, for fun and profit, some form of cape-like uh, tool. If that can't be arranged right now, like, I'm gonna get one in early stage and, and and use it like and you know and and you know and you know and you know do you know what you know because I know what I know and I know that you don't know that exactly what is that though I don't know yeah it's over here with uh, the the zeppelin uh, rush going on right here so can is there anything okay so there's nothing fine up there which was what I was wondering now what I'm wondering is if it's possible in some way, shape, or form, to casually bring the springboard with me beyond these lands, and I think it just might, if I ever... Okay, so yeah, I'm just gonna... Now these guys over, are there any other? Okay, so now I am clear for takeoff. Aha! I don't know how you're meant to do that exactly, but hey, whatever works, works, right? I was sure it would be leading to the star there, but it seems to be a shortcut into space. Since it's a shortcut, I'm not going there. Instead, we're getting getting buried in the snow. Always a fun-filled time to have some hyperthermia. Go oh, okay. So we got snow. We got Charlie living together in harmony. So yeah, this was basically a ploy to get rid of my. Oh, well, we get a cape here. I was about to say it's a ploy to get rid of my cape because you know I shouldn't have. I can't fly here. Oh, is that how it's gonna be? It's that how it's gonna be, Charlie? Well, you just ex... Oh, well, hello there. The turtles, you guys are getting quite excited there. So that was a big old waste. Well, big old waste. It gives us a dragon coin. The dragon coin could be useful, but as of now... Oh, that's the story. We got... Well, it's not wind, it's... It's snow. There's a difference between wind and snow. One of them is slightly more solid than the other. Okay, so it's basically quicksand, you know, in case, uh, yes, so that's cool. I, I love how we took the time to, like, put some snow on the hills, though, it looks really neat. Why are you guys playing baseball, like, throwing baseball around during the snow? What am I doing also? That's another good question, but mostly, okay, so it's slippery. No, it's snow, but no, slippery is snow, and snow is slippery, so in the end, it's basically quicksand. Um... So, yeah, this is a fun time at the Tim Horton factory here. I have no idea where I am. Oh, I'm getting stopped by the pole. Great, great. Uh, I love getting stopped by a pole, you know. Every morning, I'm trying to go to the peppermint factory and a pollster comes along and stops me to pull me about my eating habits. This is... Uh, sticky situation. Okay, so now that we're done saying cliches, we can move on with a world in a world in a world. So this is autumn, you know, it's some wind, some snowfall in autumn. People who live in the more colder regions are, you no, know, are aware of that. Sometimes you get snow in autumns, like you can get snow in, in the spring. Seasons don't necessarily obey to the laws of the calendar. You are 
a confused little Koopaling, little Koopa man. Well, you're not a Koopaling, though, which is, you know, you got some sauce on your shirt, and you might want to remove it before you're going to that fancy dinner with, the, you know, the governor, because you might look at your shirt and be like, hey, dude, you got sauce on your shirt. I cannot tolerate that. I shall declare war on your country, because I am pretty insane like that. So, uh, there's a cactus and a snow pile. It's pretty great. No, that's my, my, my by far my favorite um, wintertime kid story. There's a cactus in the snow pile by uh, Marky Mark Stun Double. Oh, a, a quite a classic story about a friendly little toaster and his copyright infringement activities. It's uh, uh, a classic. They don't call it a classic for nothing. They call it classic for nothing because there's a pipe on the ceiling apparently. That was accidental. Where am I now? There's a lot of snow everywhere, and also boxes, it's pretty great, they go well with mayonnaise. Uh, then you can miss a box if you want to. It's pretty great, that's my favorite by far activity in the world. I mean, there's a coin in a box! That is unconceivable! So it looks like we're gonna get some lives. Considering, uh, yeah, it's a place where you can get lives and also kind of drown in snow if you're not careful. Well, I don't think I'll drown, but I can get carried and get, like, smashed against the wall of oppression in the back. So let's try and go a little bit more forward. Drag a coin up there for all my trouble. I could get a leaf if I so desire. I do! It's, it's, it's quite uh, an unknown uh, circumstance. I have no idea what it is about that circumstance. And we plop out here where you can get a flower. I'm quite happy though with my feather. It's a tree feather, you know, don't don't be confused. No, I'm looking forward to losing it here. Well, no, I could probably not have lost it that way, but that's asking way too much out of me. But you know, in Frosty Town, Frosty Soda Land, I'd much rather have the ability to expel fire from my body than wearing a cape. Well, I suppose that both act gifts could keep you warm, so what am I complaining about? Am I feeling apt to do a ghost house of this hack at this point? 